close. <laughs> Chat. There we go. <clears throat> uh, hi everyone, Sandra from Scrubs Beauty, and it is Saturday, four uh, thirty ish. Hey Joyce, <laughs> uh, if you're watching over on YouTube, this is a live stream, and I will be just sharing a haul and. Uh, so talking about my um, weekend at Canada with classes with art Mar by Marlene. So that's something you're interested in. Great. If not, then this is not the video for you. <laughs> uh, did you want to finish? Hi, Kimberly. I can't even fit my uh, my art piece that we did there in, in, uh, in front of the whole uh, camera. Let me see if I turn her sideways. She's a little bit better. <laughs> Hi, Jay. Eileen. <laughs> Sent your package out today. Uh, let's see. Julie. <laughs> Shelly. Hi, Joan. <laughs> I was just waiting for everybody to pop in. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Good. Uh, oh my gosh, I have so much stuff all over me. I don't even know what to show first. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. So let's see. Um, I did have uh, a good time in Canada. It did rain, uh, I think, one one or two days. Um, and we got to be uh, three days. I had three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with uh, Marlene. And uh, the Scrapbook Central, oh my gosh. Natalie, who owns Scrapbook Central, is so nice. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Eileen. Um, I've been to a lot of scrapbook stores. Her scrapbook store is really the best I've ever seen. She has tons of paper from one end of the store to the other, and mixed media dyes, um, 3D card embellishments. Oh, my gosh, she has a lot. Some uh, companies I've never even heard of before. So I did save my birthday money to spend there. So <laughs> if you're not interested in hauls, I did spend all my money there. <laughs> so, so I'm going to show this first because I, it's so big. I can't even get it into the screen. So you can see it goes, let's see, from here all the way there. I think it's like 36, 36 inches maybe, something like that. But this is one of the uh, classes where we had to do. It was supposed to be Funky Faces. Uh, I went to um, not far from CC. It's in Montreal. Um, I want to say, what was the name of the town? Sources. Something Sources. <laughs> uh, I have to show the hall, Eileen. Let's go get some coffee if you're not interested. And then uh, that's the bottom of it. <laughs> There's the new tissue paper. Let me see. Let's put it this way. That's her new tissue paper here. <laughs> and then this was a really cool technique. She shows this on her YouTube channel. And so um, probably we'll, we won't be able to do. Um, I, the reason I'm streaming today is because I have to be with Gabby um, tomorrow in New York. And uh, she's having a small procedure done on Monday. So. That's why I'm streaming today. I did have to share this from Norma. She sent me this for my birthday. I, she, this is my second one. The one, first one she sent me it was purple and white, but I love her pores and how she makes it um, into flowers. And then I got a pink one, which I love pink. So thank you, Norma. She sent me a whole bunch of goodies. I did tweet it. So I <laughs> do not show the haul. Sorry. First, I'm going to show some books. So, um, and this was our second project, so I'll show you that after. Um, but I'm going to show you some books first. Now, I don't know if Dee Dee has this one, this coloring book. I don't know if Dee Dee has a lot of coloring books. But I love this girl's, um, I have her other coloring book with some mermaids. And then this one is uh, Zodiac and Galaxy Girls. So she always sends a nice thank you card. I love her envelopes. And then she usually sends you two little postcards. So there's that one. 
she loves her cats and cricket. <laughs> There's that one, and this one with the butterflies. Isn't that pretty? So she does have an Etsy shop. This is Mystic Art Mirrors. And so it's uh, www.mysticcartmirrors.de. Uh, That's her Etsy store. I see B. <laughs> I didn't know if you saw my notice. Thank you for the um, Halloween card with your armor and everything. You did pretty good. <laughs> Is it coming off yet, your cast? All right, so this is, I'm going to show these two books. This is her um, Galaxy Girls. And I have a mermaid, too, and she always signs it, so there. And then I want to do these on watercolor paper and actually put them in my journal. Let me move this out of the way. <laughs> not yet oh my gosh <laughs> so there's that oh and i had um monday last monday had a root canal it didn't bother me all week and then friday afternoon oh my gosh my tooth was killing me <laughs> it was killing me all week and i got home monday called the dentist and got i and so now i'm on antibiotics so oh, that was miserable so isn't this one cute? This one I think must be Aries. I wish she would have put the little names of them, but I'm sure if I go on her website, I could see which one is which. And so they're not just all the Zodiacs, but they're also Galaxy Girls too, like this one. It's not a Zodiac. Oh, this with the goldfish. Isn't it cute? Here's a Galaxy Girl. <laughs> Another one. So I don't know if um, she has a couple of them. She, maybe she's an Aries herself. <laughs> that could be Taurus, though, too, I guess. I like that one. This one's like uh, Maleficent. I haven't seen the movie yet. Anybody? I want to go see the movie. I love that one, too. The eyes are so um, creepy, kind of, aren't they? This has to be Gemini. There's that. Uh, crab. Who's a crab? Cancer, right? So that one's Cancer. Another Galaxy Girl. This one's Leo. That's for you, Eileen. <laughs> Leo. Um, just another Galaxy Girl. Just a regular girl. Um, I would say just another galaxy girl. Let's see. Ah, Libra. That's me. I know you're not a Leo, but you love lions, right? Cute. There's another galaxy girl. I love that one with the braids. Look at that. And that's like a, either another crab or lobster. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's why I said it was for you. There's another galaxy girl. And then this one. I think that's it. Yeah. So here's her website so you can see it. There you go. Scorpion. <laughs> so that was that. So that's this one. Galaxy girls and zodiac signs. And you don't have to buy. I think on her website you don't have to buy the whole book. You can just buy a few. Hey, Kathy. Um, I think she also sells her postcards. I can't remember. But um, these are the two that I got. I got the uh, mermaid, this one. And she does do a Disney one, which I'm almost tempted to get. <laughs> All right. And then uh, this is a new November Scorpio. That's you, Teresa. And then Dee Dee showed this the other day. This is the new one that came out with the uh, Ivy Newport. You must have seen her. She's on Facebook. I think she has. Um, a free live class going on now. I'm not sure. Um, so I'll just go through it real quick because um, I think Dee Dee showed it. Hi, Colleen. <laughs> this one's a really nice one. There's like a lot of good stuff in this one. Like Dee Dee says, she doesn't buy all of them. She only buys certain ones. And this one does have quite a few good things in it. 
this star. I'm just going to um, quickly go through it. There. And they always have these thick papers, which is great for collage. There's this. Adventures paint pouring. So here's another paint pouring. I like Norma's. I love Norma's. Hi, Amelia. <laughs> I'm just going to go through this really quick. And then I have, I think, one other book to show you. I did get Karen uh, Campbell's, and this is for doodling. Karen Campbell's new book, it just came out. Um, is it how to draw how to draw faces? I forget what it is. I tried to look for it. I wanted to show you, but you can go on her website and see it. So, and here's some more pages. I love this one with the roses. I think Dee Dee tore that. Did Dee Dee use it? I saw her tear it out. I can't remember if she used it or not. You ordered it? I have it. Yeah, it's really good. Um, she does a lot of... Uh, like simple, like it's simple ways to uh, learn how to do the face. Yeah, she's good. <laughs> she's a little hyper, but she's good. <laughs> I have our other book too. It's just a mixed media book, and that came out. Mm -hmm. My art library. <laughs> I don't know. My books are like all over the place. Bedroom, living room, family room. <laughs> I love this here. This that's cut out here, and that's by uh, Stencil Girl Mary Beth. Shaw. She works a lot with Seth After. They just did, I think they did uh, an online class, or they're doing an online class with Seth. Seth just came back from Paris. So, oh my gosh, the girls in Canada, they just love Seth. They just talk about it um, almost half the time in the class. Um, and one girl's like a groupie. She follows him everywhere. I think she said she's going to Wisconsin where he is, and I don't know, two other places she said she was going. <laughs> Uh, you ever mix media book? Yeah. And here's another more papers. This one's really good. I don't remember them putting that many papers in there. It was previous. There's another one, Cat Kerr. You guys know Cat Kerr. So I haven't even read it myself. And then these are thinner papers. I don't know what this one is. Treasure hunting. And here's a couple more pages. They really did put quite a few of these papers in here. So this will be, oh, he will? He's not going to have his new paint, though, is he, um, Eileen? I don't think his new paint's coming out till January. He's got this new paint where it's a color shift. Um, I don't know if it's a spray. I think it might be a spray. He had did a Facebook Live um, uh, the other day, last week. So there you go. So that's the new um, Somerset Studio, so if you guys are sure. Not sure about. Yeah, I don't know. I think the paint's not coming out until I want to say January creativation. But he was there demonstrating it, so you could go on Facebook Live and see his new paints. They're really pretty. I love the uh, the color shift. So and then you guys know I'm going to Ireland in May, so I'm trying to find a book that I can alter for um, for Ireland. So Jimmy found me this one. But um, it's so pretty. I don't want. I don't want to use the pages. So I might order another one to uh, get it. But um, I love the way that this is. And this is the Mermaid by Jane Brett. The pages are a little shiny, so which is not too great. But I love the uh, trimming. So you could just sew the inside up to the uh, the framework. Thank you. Look at that. And it's all, you know, about the Little Mermaid. It's really more like the uh, the Three Bears where she's trying out um, the three different things. And then she's trying out, trying out the three beds. <laughs> but it's cute. I love the illustration. So. so, like I said, so if I wanted to wipe this all out and just keep some of the, uh, some of the um, illustrations. So. so I might order another one. I really want something that's kind of green and still has some Ireland things. So not just straight. We are doing mermaids though. So painting for the week. So that's that. And this is octopus. So instead of it being three bears, it's the three octopus. <laughs> Octopi. Um, it's funny. And there's that one. <laughs> 
And then that's her and the little baby, uh, <laughs> baby shell. Yeah, the borders are nice, right? That's what I'm saying. You could even, you know, white out some of this, maybe just keep her face or the puffer fish or whatever. <laughs> but I like the border, so. so I might order another one and then, because I just can't, uh, can't bring myself to uh, cover it all. <laughs> all right. All right, now into the haul. <laughs> So she, like I said, she had a ton of stuff. First, I'll first show you my, and I'm have all my Dollarama stuff here. So Dollarama in Canada is like our Dollar Tree. So I wind up getting, I didn't really get that much there. I wound up getting a book. Oh, thanks, Elaine. Yes. Um, so it has the French, so that I could tear it out and just use the uh, French. Yep, go get coffee. <laughs> so, and the pages are nice. So I'm able to rip those out. I don't have French, uh, not like a dictionary, but you know, French uh, ephemera. And then I wound up getting these uh, two stamps. When it, for, I think this was, I want to say it was like $2. I can't remember. It only, yeah, $2. So you wind up getting the stamps plus the three ink pads. So you can see that. And they had other ones. They had like cages, bird cages, owls. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, quite a few. But I only bought these two. I love the feathers on this one. So you can see that one. And so this one has the little dots. You can see the little dots there, which make the like beads. So you can see the beads there. Yeah, that one's a cute one. And so then this is the one with the rose, how that looks. So it's just like, um, who's the company? Ulta New that does a lot of these uh, flowers. Yeah, so I'm just getting that. Now. I think I bought some mints. Um, i trying to think. I only spent like I don't know, four or five dollars. Can't remember. I only got to go to Dollarama once. So that was good. All right, so I'm going to show, let's see what I'll show. I'll show the art for foamies first. So these are art by Marlene's new art foamies. So there's the octagon. I think it's Octa, huh? Aren't they pretty? So we'll play with those at next stream. Um, and these are the um, pear paisleys, for any paisley ones. I know it's hard to see with them. And she, if you love cats, oh my gosh, her cat, I, I didn't get any of the cat. Well, I was tempted to get the cat ones, but she's got two cats that have like wings. And then her other cat one is faces. Um, love, yeah, I love the foamies. So, so you can see them there, yeah. The paisley ones are so nice. I like them because the, in the, each one has such a different design in the middle that you can use too. So, and uh, I saw Patty using her art foamies last night. This one was a really good one. We got to use this one. You can see that one with the little circles. I should have gotten, she had another one that was like uh, triangles. I think triangles or diamonds, I can't remember. You love the Paisley one? Yeah. Um, and she's uh, coming out with more dog dog stamps in January. And I love this one. This one is, um, she just came out with this one. So it's a pencil and paintbrush. It says color wheel. And she's got a little color wheel there. Yeah, she got quite a few I bought. I bought these, but there was a lot more new ones that she had. Of course, I got this one with the seahorse. So this one's got the seahorse, the fish, some, um, I think this, I thought this was an owl, but it must be a jelly, uh, not jelly, something. I don't know, maybe a fish. I don't know what that one is. <laughs> and there's the fish and the octopus. Maybe it, it can't be a jellyfish. I don't know what that one is. <laughs> it's cute. Hi, Terry. <laughs> the color wheel one. Yeah, that one's a nice one. Uh, let's see. Then she has this one. This one will be a nice one. Now, I'm not telling them because our foamies is in Canada. So it would be too much with the exchange rate. And uh, now you have to go right to our foamies for, for these, <laughs> which was nice. The can uh, I think we got the, for our dollar to Canada was like a dollar 30. So, which was nice. And then I got 10% off in the store also. So that was a really good deal. 
Um, I don't know, does Joggles do it? That Joggles gets everything. <laughs> so, but what she was saying that she loves to, when she designs her stuff, she likes to design them so that you can use them a couple of different ways. So like you could use it with the full flower or you could cut out this tiny little flower here. And then you could even cut out the smaller. So it's really like three stamps in one. So, um, and same with the, this one. You can cut out just this other, you know, just the pointy one. And then you can cut out that. So that's like two in that, in that uh, flower. So she did say when she thinks about how she designs her rubber stamps, she thinks of it that same way. Uh, let's see. I think I got two more. So I wound up getting, I think I had the bigger one of this. I don't know if this one's old or new, but that's her rose one. So you can see that there. So it's the same thing. You could tr trim this out and get a smaller flower, and then you've got this other bigger one. They have a special ship uh, deal when they ship from them to the U.S. So it isn't quite true, right? So yeah, and I think every once in a while they put a sale of either free shipping or I can't quite remember what else. But and then I got this little one, which is the same thing. So you have the whole flower, and then you can cut off that outer piece. And then you've got another separate flower. So really two flowers and one stamp. Um, and she was so nice, Marlene. She was really, really nice. Um, let me see what else uh, that I got. I should put this up on the table. Uh, I I so that was all the art foamies. And she has some other new ones. But those were the ones that I picked out. Uh, let's see. Let's see. This. Um. Oh, no, wait, I have another phone. There's one more phone there. Um. Okay. And then this is the other phone that I got here. This is the bigger flower, so you can see. So it's the same thing. You could cut this out and have that little middle flower. You have this other flower and then the third flower. So. <laughs> um, I did wind up getting her dyes. My Art by Marlene stuff, her line that's coming that's coming out, the I think this is 4.0, whatever it is, should be here by Friday. So, and I know Joggles has them for 25% off. So I also will offer the same thing, 25% off. But she has three dies. So I wound up getting that. That's the one, that's how that's cut out. You can see that. And then there's this one, circle one with the circle one. So there's that. And then I wound up getting this. And I love this one because it's the same way. I cut this out so that you could use the flower three times, you know, three different ways. So I wind up getting. So I cut the whole flower out so you could see that there. So that's the whole flower. But then here's a smaller version, which is the inside. And then here's even a smaller version than that. So you can even do, you know, a page with just the three three flowers and you still this part so i think i'm going to use this and then those are the two different parts because the one i cut so this has two rows and this actually has three rows but i thought this would make a cute little ballerina skirt so i could use that for there yeah the dye dye her dyes are nice and they cut really well so those are her three dyes So we did wind up, I did wind up getting to meet CC on Friday night. We went out to dinner and then I back to her place and we talked, I don't know, three or four hours later. <laughs> and then I had to finally get back to the hotel. Uh, let's see. I can use them as a stencil too. That's true, Joan. Yes. Um, let's see. I'm going to get in. I wind up getting one of these from Stencil Girl. I just like this one with the flower. This one was pretty cool. 
I like this because it reminds me of like a hurricane. I think that's the one called the hurricane one. So I got that. So she had all kinds of stuff. She had Ranger, Tim Hall. I mean, she had everything. Stencil Girl. I'm trying to think. This company here, she had, um, yeah, it is a pretty one, Terry, isn't it? Um, this guy here, Brutus Monroe. And so I got this one with the steampunk because I love the little girl there. And let's get that. Hi, Kalina. <laughs> So I'm going to wind up getting that one. So really, I don't need any more stencils or stamps, but <laughs> I hadn't seen those before, so I did happen to get that. I wind up getting see this one, Pinky Inky, <laughs> that one with the octopus. Uh, that doesn't make embossing powder and stuff. Does he? I don't know. So then that's the one that's pretty big. So you can see my hand here. It's bigger than my hand. <laughs> it's cute. They had a, another one, the turtle one, and something else I couldn't remember. But this was the one that I got. Pink Ink Design. So that was another company. I don't, I don't think we have that around here. And then I wound up getting, these were only $3.95. That's Canadian. So I couldn't remember if I had this one or not, but for $3, I wound up getting that one. <laughs> you love this stamp? Then I wind up getting this one, with the jellyfish and the whale. Cute. Um, and then is Teresa here? Teresa G. If she, if you're watching the recording, oh my God, she would, she loves fairies. So this was the one that I got here. They had, she had a ton of fairy stuff. Lavidia stamp she had, which is, was a whole bunch of little fairies and another company. She had chipboard fairies and dyes. Oh my God, Teresa would have fell in love in that store. <laughs> Did you find a big octopus stamp? <laughs> um, and then this one, this one I really, it's kind of weird looking. It's, I think it's supposed to be a mermaid. I've never heard of this company either. Uh, Mermaid Tears, I guess maybe that's the name of the stamp. Emerald Creek. But see how this is, um, or it's a seahorse. It might be a seahorse. Could be a seahorse. <laughs> it's kind of weird looking though. I could see this part, but then this part's kind of just got like no eyes and just a bow on its head. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird looking. <laughs> so I like that one. I wind up getting that. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, anybody who lives in Canada, um, she, I think she has a a website too. Um, that's Scrapbook Central. Natalie, oh my gosh, she um, she really has a nice store. So I wind up getting this one from uh, Visible Image. This one with the hands and the eyes. I thought that was pretty cool. It looks like this. Oh, the hands always remind me of Barb and the her hands that she uses. It looks like half girl, half seahorse. <laughs> I know it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> um, there's that one. I wind up getting two of the um, art by Melene stamps because I just couldn't wait. <laughs> I was just like sick and tired of waiting. <laughs> so I, I could see how you girls go to joggles and all that because I don't know. Notions, it took a long time to get the art by Melene stuff. And so they just called me. Ma, what's today? They call me, I think he called me like Wednesday or, and said it was finally in and it was shipping. So but I wind up getting the dog. <laughs> the hand stamp, you love that one? <laughs> and then that's one I'll show you one of the classes that we did with that. And then I love this one. It's kind of like Frida. It looks like Marlene, doesn't it? <laughs> and I love, here's the other, her famous um, little flower. And then the leaves, they're so pretty. On that. So I'll have all of her stamps, all her tissue paper. I'm trying to think in the store. Um, I know, poor Patty, she couldn't find her Zodiac stamp. I have some more of those coming. Um, I'm trying to think what else is coming. Uh, a couple things, some Prima Moles. I can't remember. I'll post it on Instagram when I get it. Um, you like that one? 
Uh, and then these were the stencils that I got. There's that one. And these are all by Art Bar Marlene, um, except for, let's see, except for this one. And this one's another company, Taylor Express. I'm not sure if I ever heard of them. So there's that one with the bubbles, Taylor Express. And these are all Art Bar Marlene. And it's this one says Jamie, but it's packaged wrong. This one of, is one of um, Art Bar Marlene ones. So they have to fix it. <laughs> What's my Insta name? It's Scraps to Beauty. And this is one we used in class. This one was a really good one. That's one of her new ones from um, the Crafters Workshop. You can see she's got all her little logo in the corner there. Um, and this was a good one, too. There's that one with the cities. And I did get one of her face ones. She's actually having a uh, promotional team call right now. So if um, any of you guys are interested in, um, she really wants somebody who really loves her stuff and is going to promote it, like, you know, really get into it. Um, I thought about it, but I just can't give up my Jane. <laughs> I just can't give her up. So, and Dina, I'll be taking a class with her at the end of the month. So I just couldn't do it. <laughs> but I do love her stuff. Oh my gosh, and this one I had to get just because it was so cute. So now this is Tim's, right? To stress one. And then look at this one. A little baby. <laughs> look how cute that one is. Bye, Terry. <laughs> you love the city one? Yeah, we're going to use the city one next stream. I'm going to use that and show you how she um, used it. Oh my gosh, and it has little tiny foams. <laughs> so I wind up getting that just because it was so cute. <laughs> it's shrunk, I know. It has a little baby. <laughs> it's a mommy and a baby now. <laughs> oh, let's see. Um. When we were there, um, we were testing black inks to see what other ink was. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's like a little baby. <laughs> um, so I did wind up getting the night. I didn't have night, and she used night a lot more than she did black when she was doing her pages. But we were testing blacks for um, archival when she was doing her watercolors. So um, this one from Lawn Fawn, um, it's called Lawn Fawn Mentals. This is the premium ink pad uh, jet black. This is archival and she stamped and used the watercolor right over it and it didn't bleed, didn't bleed at all. So I wound up getting that and it was a nice fine print on it. And then I got the reinker. This one, which I never heard of, was Memento Lux. It's so dark and black. And um, it really made a um, another good image, but it bleeds. So you really can't use this um, for, it says mixed media, but you, you have to wait a while and you'd have to heat set it. But it's so nice and dark. I mean, it's really dark. And she didn't have a, a rinker for this. So I don't know if that comes with a rinker or, or not, but we'll play with those next week. So I could show you that. That was really good. Um, and then in the store, she had this. There was all different designs, but it's to hold your like, no, this is um, from the Queen's Ink. So it's like you, it's a scrubby. So you can, you know, wash your hands to get your paint off. And then you stick it in here and you can see it's got holes. See how it stick my finger here? So it breathes. So, so there were all different designs. Of course, I got the mermaid one, but I also thought it would make a cute stamp as well. <laughs> so, so I wound up getting that. Oh, let's see. Coming down to the wire. Um, oops. Now she uses a lot of um, neon in her work. That's why her work looks so bright. But you're, when I play with it and show you the difference, you're going to be like, oh my gosh. Oh, here's another stamp. I love this one. You see that? Oct I think this is called Octolady. What one is this one called? Uh, oh, it doesn't say. 
I think it's called Octo, yeah, Octo Lady. That's a cool one, isn't it? I just love that one. Um, I want to show this. Did I take the class or just? <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, I took the class. I'm going to show the class. Let's get the last things out of the bag. So I can show you. Okay, there it is. That's the last of it. <laughs> uh, Ursula lost weight. Yeah. So she does a lot of neon in her um, in her work, which I didn't. You don't notice it, but then as soon as she puts the neon there, oh my gosh, what a difference! So she uses these pencils um, a lot, and they make a big difference. Let me see if I can get one so you can read it. Uh, so these are the Karen Dosh um, fluorescent pencils. Oops, I oh, can't see that one. Maybe this one, the pink one. There you go. And it makes such, and it only comes in these three colors. But these are the bigger pencils. You can see this is um, bigger than a regular, a regular pencil. Yeah, I don't know if you can get them. Um, I didn't get a chance to see if you could get them on Amazon or not. But um, she does a lot of, after her watercolor, she does a lot of um, neons on top of her watercolor. So this one is a really good color. Uh, this one is fluorescent red. So she uses a lot of these. Sennelier, Kathy Burke, you, you, you love their paints. These are really nice. She said the red one is really hard to find. So, so I will play with those next week when I get, um, next Sunday when I get on. Um, so I did get two of those. So this is the number if you're looking for it. 604 Fluorescent Red from Sennelier. Use those, use those on the raccoon. Oh, your raccoon. I wanted to find my book, so I didn't find it. So when I do, I'll post it on Instagram of my raccoon that I did because we have a cabin up in Canada, and I took all, I think there was two, four, six, six or eight cabinet doors. So I wind up taking the cabinet doors out and putting um, raccoons on them, like they're behind watermelons. I have to find those pictures so I can show you. Um, and then this was the... Um, Sennelier, they came in a pack. So this is the blue, yellow, orange, pink, and green. Not The red's not in this pack. Yeah, I'll post a picture. Um, if not, at least I'll post a picture of the book because the raccoon's really cute. And the Donna Dewberry uh, one-stroke painting, really, really cute. All right, so this is our class stuff that we got now. Um, so I'll show that. Oh, I'll show you what Cece had wind up giving me. So see, she did her, her little envelope. Isn't it cute? And then that, look how cute the washi tape. It's, I don't know if you can see, it's got like copper, metal copper um, foil on there. So, of course, she painted me a card. Let's see that there. I don't know if you can see the gold. Oh, yeah, you can see it. She's been using the gold so much that... Um, Kramer pigments in New York was um, does Marilyn use any of pencils over her watercolors as well? Uh, Marilyn or Marlene? Oh, Marlene. Yes, she uses colored pencils and she uses she uses more of the colored pencils, but she also uses the paint too. So I'll show you that next week. So uh, when we do it, um, yeah. But um, so she's been using the gold and recommending it on her YouTube channel. That Kramer um, Pigments actually contacted her and said, We've been having a lot of people buying this gold. So they sent her a cute little gift. I think she got like 12, 12 different pans, which was nice. That was nice of them to do that. So it's a cute little card. She didn't sign it though. And then um, she gave me some of her new stickers. So I'll show you those. The birds are so cute. So this is the Christmas ones. Uh, oh, I love the birds. Look at the birds. Aren't they cute little birds? <laughs> and on her channel, she shows, I think she shows you how to do the birds on her YouTube. And here's little cats. I should send this one to Dee Dee. <laughs> little cats. This one's cute, the little flowers, dueling flowers. 
That's set. This is set two. That's set one. They're really nice. Um, nice. They're pretty thick. They're not really thin. They're really, really nice. I love these. Her little doodles that she does. You love the birds? Yeah. So there's that one. And then her little, <laughs> her little winter scene. So the little bear and the bird. So cute. And then that's the, um, that. So I wound up, um, when we went to dinner, we traded because I gave her, um, Jane's pens because they're permanent. And so I wanted her to try them. She loved them. So that was good. We went to, they had some really good Italian places out there. I forget the place she called, took me to, started with an S. Safrinos, I forget what it's called, but then we also went to a place called the Frescos. Oh my gosh, that was so good! When they bring out the pasta and you dig into it, the steam is just like boiling over. Oh my gosh, like I've never been to a restaurant here where that happens <laughs> with the birds. All right, so then this is our class stuff that we got. So we wound up getting tags in each class, two classes anyway. So she wound up giving us the tags. And that those were from Studio Light. That was their gift to us. And then we got two books. So we all took two books. And we got two of the collage um, pads from class. This was our class. And then <laughs> what did I do with the picture now? There it is down there. So I'll do the first class first. Um <laughs> Hey, Patty, you made it finally. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't believe you can't find that stamp. <laughs> and then we were, I was talking with Cece, and I was telling her what you're doing now with the, uh, like, calligraphy type thing. And she's like, oh, my gosh, I hope she's not writing anything bad. <laughs> uh, um but she didn't know who Robin was. So when we were at her house, we opened it up and I showed her and shared who Robin was. So she was like, it definitely was your style. <laughs> I did wind up getting us a cough drops too. They were such little bags though, as I wanted to pick it and Jimmy while I was in class to go get them. So I, asked, I should have had him get you like four bags, but I got you two bags anyway. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, let me show you two before I get into the class. Well, I wind up um, going to see the botanical gardens in the night. Um, so I want to show you. The pictures are so pretty. Uh, hold on. Oh, no, I, maybe I can share some of the, her photos. Here we go. Uh, let me start from the beginning. I'll do these first. Uh, that was our pizza that one night. Can you see it? There we go. That was the one night. Uh, so then this is the gardens that were lit up. Isn't that cool? The crane there. Can you see that? Hi, Ray Ray. <laughs> Anybody I missed? Welcome. The little cranes. This was a, so it was all oriental shape. I don't forget what the theme of it was. Um, there's that, and there's a whole bunch of cranes there. Uh, this one you can see. This one was a, like a lady lit up. She looks kind of like ghostly. She was pretty. Um, let's see, that's the cranes, cranes. Oh, it's the Garden of China. That's what it was. Chinese Garden, yeah. So that was a crane. You could tell I like the cranes. <laughs> with Gabby. Uh, this was a turtle. At first I thought it was a snake the way it was going around, but it's a turtle. <laughs> Can you see that? That's the shell, and then there's a face. Hi, Javon. <laughs> there you can see it maybe a little bit better. This turtle. Um, and then I loved, oh, there was that. That's hard to see. Some of the pictures were really hard. And this is my new phone, which really took pictures nicely for the, the nighttime. So there's that. I like them little. That was over the bridge. And then this was in a big like lake. You can see that there. That was hard to see the crane. Another crane. There's more cranes. <laughs> I like the cranes. There's a little pagoda like 
picture. It was really pretty all lit up at night. It was cold, though. My hands were freezing. Oh, thanks, Amalia. Yeah, they're really pretty. This is a big, giant, I think it was a fish. You can't really notice that the fish there is there too much. A little bit. You can see that kind of his mouth. I'm trying to see there is. I took this for Patty. Look, there's your uh, symbols. <laughs> These are from um, um, when I went to Canada, uh, the botanical garden. They had uh, a Chinese garden set up, and this was at night. It was lit up in the night. So they went to. Um, Gabby and Jimmy went there during the day, and then they, since I was in class, I couldn't go. So um, then I went in the night, which I really like. <laughs> yeah, it was really nice. There's that. It was kind of like pumpkins, more of that. Oh, this cup pretty that one is. That was really pretty. More of that, more cranes. And there's Gabby. <laughs> hard to see. It's hard. Okay, and so then we're back into class. Oh, let's see. So our first night, let's see, we're back in our first day of class. I can find the pictures here. Oh, I didn't show you my, I'll have to show that to you. There we go. Marlene and I <laughs> for the first day. <laughs> All right. So let me show you um, what we did. Let's do this there. Um, of course, where's my book? Uh, I did. It was really nice, except for my toothache, which was a, a pita. But uh, what can you do? I have a pretty high tolerance for pain. So I had to. Says it, Marlene said, suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> Um, I do want to say, remember we did the Halloween page, so I wound up sticking the um, the web. I cut out the stencil from Joan, and um, so I wound up finishing finishing it. I wound up putting the witch here instead of the house because we had the window. Put a little tree, and then I added the uh, skeleton. Hi, Jerry. <laughs> nice top, yeah. So, and then I just flipped it over, and then you can see here's the uh, the other part. That came out really good. Um, and then uh, did I put anything else in here? No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, glue this down. This is our sheet from Marlene, which fits like perfect in here with like a little tiny border. And so then what I'll do is when we um, next Sunday, what I'll do is I'll show you how we did this. So it was really fun. And this was like really a good surprise. So I'll have to share that with you guys. But that was our first night. And then these are her watercolors. And then, oh, this is what I want. Jo Joan, you have to find out for me. She had these little jars of glitter. And I think she said to get them over there, like in a cosmetic section. I, hold on. Let me show you. Um, let's see if I can find. Yeah, here it is. So can you see this little jar? It's just, it's a ton of glitter and it's got these tiny little stars and moon in them. And it's a gel, but the gel is matte. It's not glossy. So let's see, where's it? And so I, I tried to show you so you could see it. But you have to look for those for me. Oh my gosh, you had like three or four different jars. So then this is what it looks like. Can you see that? There's really tiny little stars and moon and then the glitter, but you don't, it's like matte. So it's like really, it's not glossy. Because if, if I put stickles on here, you would see it. Well, you could see that, but this looks like it's just like on there. Oh my gosh. I want, I want like four jars of it. <laughs> oh, it was so nice. I wind up giving her a jar of the glitterific, um, the diamond one. That was the only one I brought with me. So I wind up giving her a jar of that. But can you see how nice those little um, stickles are? Well, I can't, they're not stickles, but whatever, whatever she used. It's just really, it just doesn't look like it's, it's nice and it's glittery, but it's not glossy. Yeah. I think she said it was like a cosmetic type thing. I'm trying to think if it's like for clay. I might've seen something like that for clay. But it, it's just the glitter. I don't think it was mixed in the gel part. 
So, there we go. All right, so. And of course, you guys will have to laugh. I'm, I'm like so excited. So this was the two books that we got. So we got two of these and two of the collage papers, pads. And then I bought some of the um, tissue papers so that I could I could add them to my project. But this is the funky faces that we were actually the class, the big picture I showed you at the beginning. My little queen, I call her the queen of hearts. <laughs> um, they were actually, it should have been like this, more funky, my, but I was afraid. I had kept kind of still stayed to my Jane <laughs> theme like. So they were supposed to be more like this. Can you see that? So I really should have done the girl that I had drawn. So this was the first one that I drew. So you were supposed to draw three people and then make a combination of these three drawings to your fourth one. So I wound up taking the mouth from here and then I added the um, this and the crown. I didn't take anything from this girl. Um, and this girl, I took the earrings. So I went up taking the earrings. So kind of like a mismatch. But what really should have done, this was the other girl I had. Because it was more funky, it was more funky. So maybe we'll do it one day and I'll actually do this girl that <laughs> I had put up. So that was the one class of funky girls. Um, so let me stick that in there. You love it? Which one do you love, the queen one or the funky girl? <laughs> But it was a good idea. I really like that idea of drawing like three different faces and then combining something that you liked from each one and then made like a different girl. <laughs> something like that. So you like the funky one better? <laughs> better than the queen? That's this one. It's just so big. That, there, you can see. This was the queen one. <laughs> so I wind up using the earrings from that. And then the background is her stamps there so <laughs> Pat, I didn't even know that they made these boards um can you see this is a Canson and it's a watercolor board let's see if I can flip this around so you can see what it is so I wind up getting and they weren't I want to say they were like four or five dollars but you can see it's in all in French so I can't really say it but they're made it's made in France and it's a watercolor can you see the label there it's a watercolor board. Let me see how big it is. It's really big. Um, this is, so it's like 19 or 20 by 16. I think I might have a couple of those. Really? Do you, Patty? Did, where did you get them? At Blix? I'd like to get a couple more of these. I'd like to make two more so I could actually put them up like in my hallway. But I love it. And you can't see the glitter. I think it's, can you see the glitter on her lips? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> it's too big. I can't even hold it in front of the camera. <laughs> but it was nice. But I love this technique here. So which I'll show you. This with um, watercolor. That was a really fun technique right there. And we can see that technique too. She shows that on her YouTube channel. Uh, I'll have to check to see if you have it. <laughs> Probably a Blix. You're like Eileen. Just look at your warehouse and you've got it. All right. So, um, so this is a journal that we got. We actually got two of them, but I worked in the same journal. So, of course, you know, this is the way you're supposed to flip the journal open like this and work on it, right? <laughs> course not I had the journal like this and did this <laughs> so this is um so she signed my book you can see that there <laughs> and then we got to do the little houses Colleen you love these little houses look how cute this page was so we actually did painted the houses we did the background first and then we do use washi tape here at the bottom. And then I used, 
You could either have done watercolor banners or I took the washi tape and did a washi tape banner there. But the houses are so cute. And then she calls, um, let's see what the name of that is, M-E-R. So let me write that down. I want to write it. Um, she call, says in her art, she likes to leave um, a piece of herself or leave a piece of yourself in um, in your art. So Mar Meraki, I think that's the name of it. So I think it's German, I think she said. And so it's the art of leaving a little piece of yourself in your art. So you can see that I put the little banner. So it's M-E-R-A-K-I. You love the stacked houses? I know. Where's Colleen? Because I know Colleen. I think Colleen's got this stamp. I didn't finish either. We were supposed to like fill in the um, lollipop trees, you know, with um, circles or whatever you wanted. So we didn't get to finish all of it. The sea looks much better when you did the little lollipops like in there. Just went doing that. And then, so this wasn't bad enough, right? Being upside down like this, right? And so the next page should have been right side up, right? No. <laughs> so. This, so I'm just going to have to do it now. Every, sorry, the ones that I have. Oh, not the same. So I'm going to have to do every other page, right side, upside down, right side, upside down, right side, upside down. <laughs> so now here's that glitter. Can you see that glitter, Joan? Oh, my gosh. I love that glitter. I want that glitter. And there it is on the, with the wings. You can see the little stars, and it's got moon shapes. So cute. So now here is the one stencil that we used. So you had a choice to use either the tree stencil or the um, the house one. That really looked cute too. So I wound up using the tree. So you can see that there's the tree one. Mm, you know, too much fun, right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah. So um, yeah. So that was really pretty. So we wind up doing the background and then um going back over with the black and then here's the dog so now can you see the difference in the neon pencil here because the um the ears are so much brighter and so that's what we did we took these pen pencils and just went right in and you can see how that just brightens up i love these pencils and i love how they make your can you see now i've added even more on there it's really nice Okay, Safia. And then you can go in with this is the neon one and make these even brighter. So let me see if you can see the difference in this tree on this side. You can see how much brighter that looks, the yellow. Oh, the glitter, yes, could be for nails. You're right. You're right, Elaine. Can you see? I don't know if you can see the difference. It's really hard to see with neon even, I think. But it just really brightens up your page. Even if I was to go in here with the shadows of the dog. <clears throat> so here. Can you see how much more depth you got into the belly, the little belly? In here. So she does. So actually, I took the neon paint and actually went in here and did that. And in here. So, yeah, they're car and dash. Yes. I think you can see it better with the, let's see, with this one. Can you see it? It's hard to see because it's silver. Maybe the pink one. So I don't know if you can get these on Amazon or not. Uh, can you see that one? But they only come in these colors, and she uses them a lot. She, I think she uses them almost on every every artwork that she does. So th this was the um, class that we did maybe in the afternoon. And then here's my upside-down one. And then here's where she wrote the Marikee for me. 
<laughs> so then so, once, so I knew that this one was upside down. I just wrote in here, you turn my world upside down. <laughs> so my page actually looks like, like this. <laughs> Who makes the pencils? Karen Dosh. So I'll tell you. So the orange one is number 491030. Uh, this yellow one is 491240. The pink one, the hot pink, is 491090. And then this one is 491230. That's the green. So. Is a dog stamp or did you draw it? No, it's a dog stamp. I'll have, these are all her stamps and I'll have them hopefully by Friday. They'll be here. So, but this was a really cool <coughs> technique. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> oh, sorry. Where we did color the background and then use stamps. Hold on, I gotta get water. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, I hate when that happens. <coughs> so this was the art foamy stamps that we went on over in white, and then edged us in. This is the night night in black. So that was a cute class. So there's that. I think that was it. <coughs> Some people went ahead and did a couple more, but I didn't wind up doing that. So I wind up giving her, let's take this one here, the uh, mermaid, some of my mermaid um, paint brushes, you know, these. She really liked them. So she wound up giving me this little bag that she made. Isn't it cute? And so then I wind up showing her my little, remember when I did this, the tag? Thanks, Eileen. So she really liked that. She really liked the uh, the metallic. So I'm going to stick this in this little envelope that she gave me. Thank you. So that's one of her stamps. And then see, so you can see how strong you can tell. Oh, no. Wait an hour. <coughs> <coughs> you see how bright? And the reason it's so bright is because of these pencils. She uses these pencils or the paint in there. And then I love this, like one of the girl that was next to me, she wound up using this and some leaves and on her big poster, it looked almost like henna, like she was having a henna border. It was really cute. So then I'll glue this down. I'll do the background and do that. So I'm trying to think what else we did. Um, but I really love the houses. And then the bigger houses that she came out with, um, We'll go with the little houses, so which is nice. And then I did do a couple extra little houses. I was on the fence whether I was going to get the houses, but mm, I didn't know if I was going to use them, so I, I didn't wind up getting the houses. <coughs> oh, thank Colleen. So that's about it. Um, I think I've showed you everything. <laughs> So next Sunday, we'll play with her stuff. I'll get out my jelly plate. I'll play with the art foamies. We'll make a page, maybe a couple pages. So, um, yes, that'll be, uh, that I'll be here next Sunday, my usual time next Sunday at four o'clock. So, and then that following Tuesday, I go to Patty with Patty and we're doing a watercolor class in at the Queens Inc. So I'll be able to share that following week. And then in two weeks after that, I have a class with Dina Wakely. So, so that'll be fun. So you guys have any questions? So I have new stuff in the store at the end of the week. Just look in. Um, I'll actually tweet it or um, put it on Facebook. Um, like I said, the Art by Marlene stuff, all the same as Joggle. She has a 25% off right now. So I will also have 25% off on mine as well. Yeah, it was a fun trip. It was. And then, um, yeah, so I'll show you her watercolors. The thing, too, about her watercolors, so let me just show you really quick before I go, <clears throat> which was a good idea, which I did not even know. So let's see. 
let's see. So the Whimsy and Bright, if you have her Whimsy and Bright uh, paint set. So that's these colors here. You can see them there. So if you are, if you're kind of new and you're like, you don't know which colors to mix on this um, palette of hers, if you go from, doesn't matter if you go right and then left like this, you won't create mud. So I'll show that to you next Sunday. We'll actually do that. Or if you go this way and um, put it down on your page, you won't create mud. And then in this, her new set, Bold and Bright, if you take this, this set here, the Fair Skin, and this one that's called Baby Wreath, and mix them together, you can do skin tones. Oh, thanks, Eileen. <laughs> so, oh, thanks, Kimberly. Um, so she did share that. She also said if you wanted more, you would mix this with um, the ginger if you wanted a uh, more oriental skin tone um, with the Indian summer if you wanted something dark. So she did do that. And I'm trying to think. I think she said if you take go across from this palette so you could mix this and this, you won't make mud. Same with this. So all the way across, you could go across and not make mud. But she said she wasn't as smart when she did design this palette. <laughs> So, so just some tips. So I'll um, just go over that, what she told us in class, which I didn't know. Um, and I'm not sure if she has that on her YouTube channel or not, but it's a good thing to know how to mix and how to use her palette. So, all right. So I will see you next Sunday. Have a good week. Um, I think Debbie's coming on, <clears throat> coming on tomorrow at my time or in the afternoon sometime. And then, of course, there's the regulars. Monday is, you know, Dee Dee and then Janet and everyone. So I will see you sometime during the week. If not, I will see you back here on Sunday. Have a great week. Oh, thanks. Thanks, guys, for coming. Yes. Have a great week, and I will talk to you um, next week. Bye. Oh, Patty says so she may stream again tomorrow, so that's good. Are you welcome, Dawn? <laughs> Night. Oh, why is that doing that? Oh, it's frozen. There we go. <clears throat> am I still on? I'm not still on, am I? Why is that still going? <laughs> am I still on? I must be still on. I didn't cut it off. <clears throat> I am? <laughs> Why isn't it going? Uh, end the stream. If you want to end, yes, I want to end it.